It is an unfortunate fact here in the United States. 50% of all marriages end in divorce. That's half. Often financial problems are to blame. However, the battle over money often only gets worse as couples divorce. Joyce Hillary is our legal analyst. And Joyce, when you're dealing with divorce and money, I can imagine that's a very difficult set of scenarios to deal with. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about how in this day and age of electronics, is mm -hmm. it making it more difficult to find hidden assets and complicating the procedure? This is, this is a new age now. It used to be years ago uh, when people were getting divorced, you, uh, attorneys would have to sift through documents, you know, credit card receipts, telephone bills, th you know, things of that nature. In today's day and age with uh, what's electronic discovery or e-discovery, uh, which is the use of technology to discover things that can be used as evidence in a case, it is much easier to discover things. And, What's happening is that, that people are, are using technology, their computers, their smartphones, social networking, and they're doing that in, in a way to unfortunately be, be dishonest with their spouse. But electronic technology mm -hmm. is helping keep people more honest, so to speak, not just with money, but for other issues as well, mm -hmm. perhaps infidelity. Yes, yes. But I think the thing that, you know, I, I just want to say up front that it, you know, it's, it's a very sad commentary that this even exists. And, you know, the experts want, will say that, you know, the first thing you want to do when, when you talk about divorce to people is really to encourage them to communicate with each other. Unfortunately, these situations do exist. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's... Well, this, this is something that's been going on since the first caveman snuck into a cave down the way. I mean, you know, these <laughs> things are going to happen. <laughs> part, part of the reference. But um, this has become a really contentious issue as we see more and more couples divorce. You know, in our parents' generation, yes. divorce was kind of shunned upon. Mm -hmm. Now, it's, it's, it's frequent. So, so women are finding, as you find more women in the workplace, more women becoming more astute about finances. Yes. Now it's becoming a big battle. Uh, from a legal standpoint, though, how, are you seeing a difference in the way women are coming at the divorce scenario? Well, I think, you know, they feel a li perhaps more empowered now because they feel they have more information, uh, more access to information. Now, of course, the thing to realize that it, now there's a difference between snooping, you know, for instance, going into a password protected account of your spouse mm -hmm. and getting information because information obtained illegally is not admissible in court. However, mm -hmm. people these days will hire a forensic accountant expert to go through, you know, who have the ability to use the technology to find things in a legal manner. And the other thing is that people think that if they've deleted certain things from their computers it's or their gone. smartphones, we'll think again. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I, the, the point is that, you know, perhaps if there isn't a moral compass that is guiding people, mm -hmm. beware to the people who are being dishonest because these things will be found out. There's web surfing history, uh, the cell phone records, records and people are being very they're blatantly using social networking putting things out there if yes. you're using shared devices uh, right. exactly yeah exactly. well what do you do if you suspect your spouse is being dishonest because people are entitled to what they're entitled to by the law absolutely if you suspect dishonesty what do you what do you do well the first thing is to go to the spouse and to try to have a conversation with them. Unfortunately, that doesn't always work because in a perfect That's world- That's why they're getting divorced, perhaps. In a perfect world, everyone would be honest, but this is not a perfect world. So then the next step would be to seek uh, legal counsel and, and get advice on to how to proceed, as to how to proceed because what they, we want to discover evidence that is allowed to be used that is legally obtained. Mm -hmm. So if you're caught being dishonest, what are the ramifications, even on children? Well, you know, this is, well, you know, let me just back up for a second because I'm also a media, I'm a trained mediator, I've trained in divorce mediation. And, and, one of the, and that just brings to mind that what people unfortunately don't realize is that while they're getting divorced and while tempers may be flaring, they still have children. They brought the children into the world. The children did not ask to be here. I would like to implore people to realize that they still have to parent their children. And it hurts their children to see them fight, to see them disagree, to be contentious with each other. And, and it, it's, it's a horrible burden for a child who is who's having his or her family break up. Legally quick, speaking, do, oh, I'm sorry. Well, let, let, this is raising an interesting yeah. question. Do children have any legal standing in a divorce procedure? In, it, 
it, it really it, it depends on what we're t in terms of what we're talking about. You know, they might have a say perhaps in if they're older children what the visitation schedule might be. What about be. assets? Though? Not really. It's 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 really between the parents, their lawyers, and you know the adults the adults of the matter. Bottom line, though, you want to be as honest as possible. Absolutely. That way, each side can get what they're entitled to. Right. Thus. As positive a benefit, right? Not as, as we wrote in our teas. It's hard on your wallet, perhaps, mm -hmm. as, as opposed to the heart. Absolutely, that's so true. Yeah, and there's the old saying: it's cheaper to keep her. <laughs> it's cheaper to keep her. <laughs> on well, that note, thanks, Joyce, for joining us. Thank you for yes, having me. me.